Ramsgate's main beach will this evening be abuzz with a hive of activity as it hosts its New Year's Eve party. The Guazulu Natal South Coast is set to deliver a fabulous alfre alfresco beach party under the African night sky with a lineup of performers and DJs this year, including Matthew Mole, uh, Yale, uh, Luke Lambert, Carlum, and Jetro entertaining attendees. To tell us more about this event and what to expect this evening, we're joined by its organizer, Vicky Venzel. Vicky, a very good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Now, tell us more about uh, what this event is all about this evening. So, the South Coast has traditionally always hosted an annual a New Year's Eve party. It's previously been held on the South Broome Beach, but this year we've moved it to Ramsgate's Blue Flag Beach, which is a beautiful beautiful beach with wide open spaces and we've got a massive dance floor which is a lovely a lovely environment under the african night sky um I, I hear that they said there's a little bit of rain expected but from our side everything's looking clear um and it's just going to be a beautiful getting together of family members it's for the youngsters and for the entire family to enjoy and this event vicky has quickly become one of south africa's largest and biggest new year's eve celebrations what have you been doing right to make it to make it this popular we've had a very good team work on this event for the last 20 years so uh -huh. it's it's i think we've, we've tried and tested and you know it's a new venue so new challenges uh, uh lots of parking space required we're expecting we, we're capping the event at three thousand people for the first year because we want to grow, grow it small in its new venue and make sure that you know, we, we, we look after the interests of the public and mm -hmm. make sure that uh, the bars flow and that the dance floor area isn't too, too cramped in. But it's a beautiful, it's going to be a beautiful evening and um, lounge suites are being set up on Ramsgate Beach as we speak now in the, in the various VIP areas. And it's going to be a, a stunning evening out for the family. Yeah. And do unpack for us, if you can, what exactly will be happening later on today and tell us more about this exciting lineup of performances. Thank you. Yes. So we kick the gates open at six o'clock. Um, mm -hmm. There are still, I know the VIP tickets are sold out, but there are a few VIP, there are still a few general tickets available on Cricket. Um, gates open at six o'clock. Uh, there are uh, park and ride services in place where people will be parking in various areas and walking or, or riding, catching the, the free shuttle service. Um, and the bar runs and the music runs until two o'clock in the morning. Uh, our highlight of the evening is Matthew Moll. He's been an amazing crowd puller for the evening. He's on at nine o'clock. He's doing two sets, so he'll, on, he'll be on between nine and eleven this evening. And um, although we say we ban fireworks from the event because we don't allow our, our visitors to bring fireworks in, there's always been a tradition on Ramsgate Beach, um, north and south, two separate families have a competition and see who can set off bigger fireworks displays. And I, I, I've been told that apparently they are going to be doing that this evening. Um, but as I said, as event organisers, we don't allow fireworks into the area, but it, it does create a lovely atmosphere for the visitors. Although obviously with it comes, you know, the, the issues around fireworks and, and pets and animals. Um, uh, the evening has got some local DJs from the South Coast, Luke Lambert. Um, we've got uh, Yale, who's coming in from Durban. We've got some Ting based DJs coming through as well. So it's going to be hot and happening, and uh, we're really looking forward to a great evening. And you also have family-friendly access options, right? Yes. So Matthew Mall is, uh, has been a huge success uh, and really attracted the family market. So under 12 come in for free. Um, so it makes it affordable and allows for the families to, 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 to pack their little picnic campers and bring their blankets out. And if they're not sitting in the VIP lounged areas, that's what I really like about this, this space is that it can integrate really well and, and work for family as well as for, for the youngsters that are wanting to you know, get down on the dance floor. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about what goes into planning an event of this magnitude. Well, we plan it a year in advance, you know, things oh. to get liquor licenses, it's, it takes, you, you've got a plan. So we've already started planning for next year. Um, okay. So no, that's, how you, that's how you operate if you want it to be run successfully. We've had to obviously work closely with SAPS, our Margate SAPS have been incredible. Um, we've had very good help from provincial Victor Chetty's offices, uh, from uh, provincial traffic. Um, we work with all of the different uh, Ramsgate ratepayers, the Ramsgate Tidy Town folk are also involved there, the benefactor in fact. So what we're doing is we give a large donation to Tidy Towns, which is a concept that has taken off on the south coast 
um, that's, that's worked really, really well, where the private sector are getting involved and cleaning up beach areas, cleaning up uh, bathroom facilities, fixing potholes, uh, and done with the blessing of Brian Cunyani Municipality. So we work very closely with them. So tonight's event is a fundraiser for Ramsgate Tidy Towns. Um, we're going to be doing, we just rethatched the front of the of the beachfront area where all of the informal traders uh, operate from. And uh, you know, the money will be going back into the community to make the community a more beautiful place for, visitor, for visitors. I heard you mention uh, that, that you've had conversations with uh, SAPS and I suppose uh, it's now safe uh, to assume that security will be, you know, watertight for the patrons that will be attending uh, this evening's event, right? Correct. So we, we very, uh, our safety officer and um, the full teams, we've actually overcompromised and put in additional. So the event act states one guard per 100 people, we're going one per 75. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just to, to really bring in a sense of safety so that people can feel safe. Um, the space is safe. But there, there are no real threats. The, the only actual possibility of a threat is the national road, which leads into the event, which is a very busy road. Mm. So there we've, we've employed additional 15 guards that are going to be on, on standby flagging. Uh, 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 as I said, Victor Chetty's officers uh, are coming in to assist from, tra the tra from traffic, from KZN traffic, to put... Uh, measures in place just to calm the traffic down, to slow the traffic down, um, because that road is going to be very busy. It's, uh, Ramsgate is going to be a hive of activity tonight. So um, we're hoping that we, we don't gridlock the, 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 full, the full area, but okay. we, we think our traffic plan is tight. Okay. Mm. You know, Vicky, there's always been the issue of counterfeit or uh, fake tickets. That, uh, that has been a massive headache for so many festival organizers out there. So uh, what have we done to strengthen those details? So we work with Quicket, they're our ticketing partners, and they, it works really well. So each issue gets given, each ticket gets a, a, a unique QR code that gets scanned in. And um, we've made it very clear in all of our social communications with the youngsters that are purchasing tickets and the families that you only purchase a ticket from an official ticket supplier wearing a, a, a T-shirt saying that they're an official supplier. And we've kept it quite small, so just one group of people moving around, the rest online. Um, purchasing tickets online and we, we, we obviously tell people, you know, you don't just buy a ticket from anybody um, because obviously what people will do is download the ticket, make photostat copies and then try and sell them on. So you need to be sussed and be, I think people are, are, are aware of it. Um, every year it, it gets better and better in terms of the, 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 the security aspect around the ticketing um, formula. So we're very happy with, with the Quicket formula and it works well for us. Okay. Now give us more details as to how those that are interested in, in going can actually go about planning their attendance. So what they need to first of all do is make sure that you get in nice and early. Um, try to share cars because there, there's parking, there's space for about 700 cars. But as I said, we're expecting 3,000 guests. So we're encouraging people not to drink and drive as well. So encouraging people to catch taxis in um, and get there nice and early. The gates do open at six, but we would like to get everybody with their accreditation so that they can have a smooth entry through. Um, the bars are all set up and fully stocked, uh, ready to, to, to keep everybody well entertained. Um, if you're wanting to bring, if you're wanting to, if you're not bringing a, if you've not purchased a VIP ticket and you're wanting to bring in a picnic camper, we allow picnic campers, just no alcohol or no liquid refreshments, bring blankets, bring chairs. Um, that's what makes this, this, this venue so lovely. It, it's the, the families can really, you know, set up a little picnic, a picnic area on the beach, on the sea sand, and the youngsters can be in the VIP areas looking cool and trendy and on the dance floors dancing. All right, Vicky, great chatting to you and do have a safe and a great crossover. Thank you. Thank you. That was uh, Ramsgate New Year's Eve, part, well, Eve Beach Party event organizer Vicky Wenzel and she's been giving us a taste of what to expect this evening.